Welcome to Lyra Clinical Hemp Hemp Hooray Series, Volume 5, CBD and Friends, Isolate versus Full Spectrum. Cannabis, hemp, CBD, cannabinoids, infused, full spectrum, isolate, the entourage effect. These are all words which have entered into the aesthetics vocabulary in the last few years. Each are important, but potentially defined very differently. In previous Hemp Hemp Hooray volumes, we have examined hemp seed oil, adaptogens, terpenes, and the endocannabinoid system. Cannabinoids are the plant components getting the most exposure now and include CBD, THC, CBN, CBG, and over 110 more. The most researched are CBD and THC, but you can expect to see emerging research on CBG, CBN, and CBV in the near future. Cannabinoids are essentially adaptogens and communicate with the body's endocannabinoid system, resulting in a host of neurological, histological, physiological effects. With the green rush of CBD-infused skincare and wellness products flooding the consumer and professional markets, it can feel consuming to weed through all of the information and unfortunately misinformation. There are varying acceptance levels of cannabis, but we could all probably fall into one of the following categories. The enthusiast, the curious, and the skeptical. The enthusiast is excited about histological opportunities of CBD and other cannabis compounds, and whether a skincare practitioner or a client has no problem using quality infused products. The curious is interested, but has questions. They are open to understanding the actual skin benefit, but also the process of product development, from extraction to lab testing and complementary ingredients in the entire formulation. They want to understand how it works and why they should use it. The skeptical is cautious. They are fearful of propagandized untruths and may have fair and seemingly reasonable questions like, will I get high or will I fail a drug test? There are thousands of published peer-reviewed medical and research papers on cannabinoids, terpenes, and their effects on the human body. In contrast, we are now just coming out of a prohibitionary period where we have been ingrained to think cannabis is the devil's lettuce and that we should just say no to it, despite absolutely zero scientific evidence of its wickedness. It's no wonder there is confusion on the subject and understanding clinical skincare efficacy will come from understanding clinical evidence. Let's review a few absolute truths. Cannabis sativa is a flowering species that belongs to the Cannabisia family of plants. There are many cultivars or breeds of cannabis with several distinguishing factors all related to cannabinoid and terpene profiles. We have made the comparison to the canine species, where there are obvious differences in dog breeds, but they're all canines, not to mention super cute. The largest differentiation is the legal definition of hemp and marijuana. That classification depends on the concentration of one single cannabis chemical constituent, and that is tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. That amount varies by country. In the United States, it's 3 tenths percent. In most of Europe, it's 2 tenths percent, except in France, where it's 0 percent, and Switzerland, with the most permissive, allowing 1 percent. In Australia, it's five one thousandths percent. Anything over these THC amounts would be considered marijuana, and anything at or under can be considered hemp. So why is there a range from zero to five one thousandths to one percent? In the early 2000s, 
there was huge advancement in the global movement to legalize cannabis and its cultivars, and we can see that revealing with legal permissions changing every year. This also opens the door for science to study the many potential applications and combinations. Cannabis has been used as a healing plant medicine for thousands of years. But racism, politics, capitalism, and impressed stigmas have all contributed to stints of cannabis's legal standing throughout history, but never has there been scientific evidence to support many of the claims made by prohibitionists. An unfortunate result has been delayed progress in cannabis research. Delayed, but not halted. It is important to note that modern scientific cannabis research has been ongoing for over 80 years, despite hurdles and obstacles. In fact, Roger Adams received a Treasury Department license to work with cannabis extract at his University of Illinois lab and presented a paper to the National Academy of Science on the chemistry of marijuana in 1939. In the early 1940s, he identified and isolated cannabidiol CBD, and cannabinol CBN. In 1942, he won a patent for his method of isolating CBD, noting the analgesic effect of the isolated molecule then. He developed the Adams scale to measure the potency of cannabinoids, which is still used by researchers today. Though Adams was the first to identify THC, it was Dr. Raphael Meshulam who was first able to isolate it, name it, and identify it as the intoxicating or psychoactive component from cannabis. In other words, THC was the one extracted molecule that provided the euphoric high feeling at certain concentrations, where CBD and CBN did not. Dr. Mishulam and his team were also credited for discovering the endocannabinoid system and advancing research on the effect of the phytocannabinoid interaction with our bodies. We now know there are physiological effects of cannabis constituents, including cannabinoids like CBD, THC, CBN, and terpenes, and specific results can be achieved by combining certain concentrations of each. There are thousands of chemical combination opportunities for this application. Dr. Ethan Rousseau, another well-respected cannabis researcher, is well known for studying an industry theory. The entourage effect occurs when cannabis compounds, namely cannabinoids and terpenes, work together to enhance effectiveness. Dr. Rousseau, a neurologist with an extensive background on the effects of cannabis compounds in the human body, explains that each cannabis compound can enhance the natural properties of other cannabis compounds. Because of this, cannabis compounds will deliver stronger and more diverse effects together than any single compound could alone. With hundreds of naturally produced compounds found in cannabis, the variety of different synergies and different effects offered is overwhelming. Research into exactly which compounds combine for what physiological effect is ongoing and may take years to fully understand. For the purposes of skin care, there is existing and mounting clinical evidence of histological efficacy, which is great news for professional skin care practitioners. Cannabis is exciting, and amid all that excitement is unfortunately misinformation. We have that range of enthusiast, curious, and skeptic to consider. Because of that, it is important to fully understand industry terms and to be able to distinguish actual product potential by examining the whole product, not just clever to marketing. Let's review three terms common in hemp-infused consumer products. Isolate. Isolate is just that, an isolated molecule. Most commonly, this term means cannabidiol or isolated CBD. Does it work? Yes when paired with other components like terpenes and omega fatty acid rich oils like hemp seed oil. 
The problem with isolate is when an isolate is not in an intentional formula, then it is just novelty and not really providing skin benefit. Full spectrum is a loose definition, meaning several cannabinoids, including THC, and terpenes are present after extraction. Does it work? Yes, absolutely. However, there is a problem. When cannabis is extracted with CO2 or ethanol, it then goes through a process called decarboxylation, where acidic forms of cannabinoids change. CBDA becomes CBD, for example. During this process, many cannabinoids and terpenes are lost, so the efficacy changes. Current testing measures minimal cannabinoid profiles and rarely terpene profiles, so identifying full cannabinoid inclusion is rarely realized. It's not a big deal if you're making DIY skincare or buying products at the farmer's market, but when you're providing clinical treatments, consistency is imperative. With advancements in extraction method technology, clinical full spectrum will soon be a viable and effective option. Broad spectrum is full spectrum minus THC. This is great for those who are firm in the belief that full spectrum is the best option, but don't want the risk associated with THC. Does it work? Yes, and potentially. Yes, because there is more than one cannabis component, but broad spectrum was an answer to consumer demand more than holding roots in efficacy, so formulations boasting broad spectrum should be reviewed for effective versus novelty. What we have is nearly 85 years of research on CBD isolate and a budding scientific trend in exploring the effects of multiple cannabinoids, terpenes, and other whole plant components. What we also have is an industry passion position that is isolate versus full spectrum. The truth is, both have their place and it's a matter of evaluating the entire formulation and intended application. So rather than isolate versus full spectrum, it should be isolate and full spectrum. Remember the cannabis consumer classification of enthusiast, curious, and skeptic? That was the case for the Lyra founders too. We won't divulge who was the enthusiasts and who were the skeptics, but years of research and understanding resulted in the skeptics becoming curious and eventually the curious becoming enthusiasts. So what changed? A clinical understanding of cannabidiol, cannabinoids and terpenes and the composition opportunity for refined clinical formulations. Lyra Clinical is excited and proud to announce the first CBD formulation release in the Infused C. This product introduces the new power entourage where terpenes enhance the efficacy of clinical cannabidiol. It is a great introduction for the cannabis skeptics, but also satisfies both the curious and the enthusiasts. Because isolate has been incorporated in such an efficacious way, the Infused C meets international standards and is available to the global market. Past the drawing board and through the formulation process are other thoughtfully designed full spectrum products that incorporate advanced extraction methods for increased cannabinoid and terpene profile potential. Stay tuned as these products are in the perfection stage. Thank you for tuning in to Lyra Clinical's Hemp Hemp Hooray series, Volume 5, CBD and Friends, Isolate vs. Full Spectrum. My name is Ella Cressman. I am a licensed esthetician, self-proclaimed ingredient junkie, and proud member of the Lyra Clinical Education team. For questions, please reach out to your local rep or contact the corporate office at info at lyraclinical.com or by calling one 877 440 5472.